Well, folks in Terrell, east of Dallas, celebrating a huge new travel center just open for business. You know, we normally don't do like grand openings and ribbon cuttings. No, We're no, no, no. We're a little no, no. too big for that. Well, this is a big one. Oh, I know. Huge. Dan is live with a look at the new Bucky's. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning, Lauren. I was talking with the general manager here. He tells me there is an employee in both bathrooms all the time, keeping things clean. A huge selling point here. This Bucky's opened at six o'clock this morning. It is the first one in North Texas. Uh, there are already maybe a dozen locations in Central and South Texas. It's a travel center really like none other. Uh, there are 84 fueling stations out front. Every one has a diesel pump. Inside the store, 61,000 square feet of retail space, uh, plenty of snacks for the road, but also uh, lots of other merchandise. The selection, endless. Uh, this Bucky's takes up 20 acres at I-20 and FM 148. It has helped generate a lot of other development in this area. Uh, this is the cornerstone for the 36-acre Terrell Market Center, and just on the other side of 148, a shopping area called the Crossroads at Terrell. And adjacent to the Bucky's, Baylor Health Systems is building on a 56-acre site. Coming back out live here, let's say hello to the uh, the Freeman family. Uh, you guys are are from Terrell, huh? Yes. And this, this Bucky's, this development, step right over here, uh, this, this Bucky's uh, generated a, a lot of excitement among the folks here, right? Yes, it did. And, and you've made some purchases. What, what did you think walking around inside? What's, what's the verdict? Big and nice. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be your last trip here. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh, thanks very much, folks. Uh, we also want to point out, it's a big story in Terrell, certainly, the Terrell Tribune, Monday, B-Day, in T-Town. There's a lot of uh, certainly tax revenue that the city is looking forward to as well as all of that development. An official ribbon cutting uh, set with the mayor of Terrell and other dignitaries for 8 a.m. Reporting live, Dan Godwin on Good Day.